Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this particle disintegration effect in After Effects. Now you can use it with any kind of logo or image you want, all this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just images of some riders with transparent background. Just make sure that whatever image you are using, it has a transparent background. And I also have this background for the overall video. So once you're done with this, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our image. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this one media as so things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now once you're done with this, we are going to quickly import one of these images into our composition. So let's drag this image 3 over here. Now it's quite big so I'm going to press S and let's just scale this down. Now it's completely up to you can just place it wherever you want. Also I want this to be turned to the other side. So in order to do that, right click, uh, let's go to transform and I'm going to flip horizontally. Perfect. So I'm going to place it where I want my rider to be. So somewhere around here, it looks good. Perfect. So once we're done with this, let's go back to the main composition and we are ready to import our media comp. So let's drag it over here. Once we're done with this, we are ready to create the particle effect. So in order to do that, we are going to search for an effect called shatter. Now, if I drag this over here, you will see that it has already created something. So first I'm going to change this view from wireframe and forces to rendered. Now if I play back, you can see that we already have created this shattering effect but we are going to tweak this further. So first I'm going to go inside the shape and I'm going to change this pattern from bricks to whatever you want, but glasses works much better. After that, I'm going to increase the repetition. So max is 200. So just set this value to 200. Perfect. Now if I play back, you can see that now it will shatter into much smaller particles, which is exactly what we want. Now in order to make these particles flow in a particular direction, we are going to use the force field. So over here, I'm going to first select the force so we basically want the particles to be attracted to a particular direction. So I'm going to select this position and I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. So first I'm going to change the strength from 5 to negative 1 because I want the particles to be attracted to this direction. After that we can play around with the depth and radius. So for radius I'm going to set this to something like 0.6 and depth we can set this to like 0.2 or 0.15 something like that. Perfect. Once you're done with this, we are ready to play around with some physics. So let's go inside the physics tab. Over here, I don't want any kind of gravity. So I'm going to set this to zero. Now let's play around with the other properties. So for rotation speed, I'm going to set this to something like 0.9. Tumble axis, I'm going to set this to none. And randomness, we can probably leave it to 10. And viscosity, we don't want any. So I'm going to set this to zero. Mass variance, I'm going to set this to 80 and rest of things will remain same now if i play back you can see that we have created this sort of animation now if i play back you can see that we have all the particles flowing away and you can see that all of these are moving in the direction which we want now it's completely up to you can play around with these values for example if you want these particles to move like a little bit slow then you can increase the viscosity now you can see that now the particles will come off very slowly but for this one i'm going to leave this to zero because I want the particles to be really fast in the beginning and then we can have these slow particles like this. So before we continue, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. So we are pretty much done with this. Now, if you want, you can play around with the lighting material or camera position, but I think this looks good for this type of example. Now we are ready to add a layer on top of it so that we don't see these blank areas. So in order to do that, just select the media comp and press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now on the top one, I'm going to just delete the shatter effect. So now you can see we have the rider on top and we have the particles at the back. Perfect. Now we are ready to animate its position. So all you have to do is just select both of these layers, press P and let's add a keyframe for position. And in the beginning, I'm going to just move it to this side like that so here you can see we have it coming in now i'm going to select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph by clicking over here now if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph now let's select the endpoints and let's make the graph to look something like that perfect now if i play back you can see we have our rider coming in and we have the particles coming out let's select the keyframes and i'm going to move it a little bit further apart like that 
Now, if you want, you can press T. Let's add a little bit of opacity in the beginning. So I'm going to just move it like that. So here you can see we have our rider coming in and we have all the particles applied. Perfect. So now we are ready to add some background. So right click new. Let's add a solid and just click on OK. Color we can change later on. On this one, I'm going to apply a four color gradient. So let's drag it over here. Now over here we can play around with the colors. So I'm going to set this to black and we can pick these colors from the rider itself. So let's pick this really nice reddish sort of color and let's pick one from here and let's change this to like that. Perfect. So here we have something. Now you can play around with the position to make it look a little bit better. Something like that perfect so here we have our rider and now let's add an image to the background as well so we have this car racing image let's drag it over here press s to scale this up now i'm going to change its mode from normal to something like overlay and let's press t you can play around with the opacity but i think yeah this looks good so let's add a keyframe for scale and let's place it over here let's just add some scaling animation to the image in the background now if I play back, you can see we have the image and we have the animation. Perfect. Let's add our text. So select the text tool. Now let's go to the very beginning and let's click and you can type whatever you want this. And once you're happy with your text, just align it to the center. Again, if you're not able to see the align panel, you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select this, press S and I'm going to just scale this up. Let's align it over here. Perfect. Let's place it where we want our text to be somewhere around here i'm going to place this below all of these layers so that we have particles flowing on top of it perfect once you're done with this we can animate the text as well so in order to do that let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe so this is going to be a final and in the beginning i'm going to just move it to this side so if i play back you can see we have the part text coming in let's play around with the curves as well like that so here we have our animation now i don't want the text to be visible beforehand i want it to be appearing from behind this character so in order to do that i'm going to select the pen tool and let's add or create a very rough shape of the rider so just randomly create a rough shape like that now i'm going to extend it to this side something like that so here we have this shape now i'm going to place this below all of these layers now let's select this and i'm going to quickly parent it to the top layer so that it moves with that perfect now we are going to select this and i'm going to change its track mode option now if you're using the older versions of after effects then you will have uh, alpha matte alpha inverted something like that but if you're using the newer versions then you can just simply pick whip and just select this now you can see that it will disappear now i'm going to click over here so that we have this inverted mat now if i play you can see that as our text is coming out you can see that it will hide behind the character something like that so this is how you can create these kind of animations again if you're using the older version then you will have to place this layer on top of the text layer then select the alpha inverted from the drop down and it will give the same results so this is how you can create these kind of animations now the best thing is that if you want to change the subject all you have to do is just go inside the media comp and let me just quickly select one of these images so let's select this and i'm going to press s let's scale this down so just place it wherever you want now if i go back now if i play back you can see we have the particles coming off now you can play around with the direction of the particles just by simply changing this force position so if i want the particles to go to the other side then all i have to do is just simply move the force point to somewhere around here now again if i play back you can see that now the particles will go to the other side now if this is something you want then you can play around with it and in the same way you can use any kind of logo or image whatever you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.